Hello and welcome to the weekly Pre Shabbat AGC Zoom call. Each week we gather together the Jewish communities of all six GCC countries and our families and friends from around the world to hear a special message before Shabbat, light candles, hear Dvar Torah, pray and read a section from the weekly Torah portion. Today we will hear from Dr. Ariel Laz Lazarus, composer, guitarist and musical director of the Israeli Ladino Orchestra, who will speak about his work. The Association of Gulf Jewish Communities is the umbrella organization for the Jewish communities of the GCC countries that are building and enhancing Jewish life in the region. While each community is independent, we share a common goal and vision for Jewish life to flourish in the Gulf for the benefit of both residents and visitors. To stay updated on HJC events, please follow us on Twitter at, at Gulf Jewish and visit our website www.gulfjewish.org. Shabbat Shalom and continue to pray for peace to prevail around the world. Thank you so much, Huda. And now we will turn to Ariel, who's not going to present right now, uh, but he will lead us in, Lecha, in uh, sorry, Yadid Nefesh. Thank you so, so much. I fear if we unmuted everybody for them to clap, we would have a hard time getting everybody back on the, on the mute, but um, we will give a, an official round of applause uh, at the end. So thank you very, very much, Ariel. And now we'll head over to, thank you. We're gonna head over to Sue, who's gonna light this week's Shabbat candles. Thank you, Ariella. Um, hello from Greece. We're using our uh, Shabbat kit away Shabbat kit from RD. I don't see her on, but. Uh. 
Thank you so much. Shabbat shalom. And now we will turn to Alex, who's going to lead us in Lechadodi. I wish I could do it in Ladino. Lechadodi likat kala pnei Shabbat nekabela. Lechadodi likat kala pnei Shabbat nekabela. Shamor v'zacha b'dibur v'chad ishmiyano elam yochat Adonai echad u'shmo echad l'shem ol tiferet v'letila. Lechadodi likat kala pnei Shabbat nekabela. Lechadodi likat kala pnei Shabbat nekabela. Likat Shabbat lechu v'nelcha ki mekor ha-beracha Merosh mikedem nesucha sof ma'ase b'machshava t'chila Lechad odi likat kala p'nei Shabbat nekabela Lechad odi likat kala p'nei Shabbat nekabela Mikdash melech Malucha, kumitei mitocha fecha, rav lach shevet beyeme kabacha, vehu yachmol alai chemla. Lecha dodi likat kala, pnei shabbat nekabela. Lecha dodi likat kala, pnei shabbat nekabela. Last two verses, you know, that I uh, used to sing with the Tikva. I hope very soon at the end of the walk, we can go back to the regular uh, music. But I promise that till the end of the walk, I will uh, sing with the tune of the Tikva. <laughs> Al Yadish ben Farsi, ben Ismecha ben Agila, lechadodi likat kala, ben Shabbat nekabela, lechadodi likat kala, ben Shabbat. Nekabela, boi be shalom ateret bala, kam be simcha uvtala, toch emune yam segula, boi chala, boi chala, lechadot kala. Bnei Shabbat nekabela, lecha dodi likat kala. Bnei Shabbat nekabela. Thank you very much, Alex. Um, today we have a real treat. The intro, the person who's going to introduce. Um, our, our speaker officially is usually somebody who sings. So we've given Isaac a break on the singing this week in exchange for his introduction. Um, but I also want to thank Isaac um, for introducing us to Ariel. Obviously, music runs in the family, and we're so honored and privileged to have you both um, join us and contribute to these Zooms uh, with your beautiful voices. So Isaac, over to you. Thank you very much for that introduction to my introduction. Um, <laughs> Uh, Dr. Ariel Lazarus, to give him his full title, is an accomplished um, musician, guitarist, composer, a scholar in Sephardi music. He's performed all over the place, from Scandinavia, in Germany, in Poland, in Spain, endless. Uh, and he's recorded orchestral works. Uh, he's even received a prize from the uh, President Herzog, uh, the 2021 Yitzhak Navon Prize uh, for outstanding work in the field of Jewish music. Um, doctor, because he's a PhD from Barilan University in music composition and ethnic musicology. 
uh, and holds the positions of lecturer for Gibad Washington and Ono Academic Colleges and the Mon College of uh, School of Music and the musical director of the Israel, Israeli Ladin Orchestra, something that I am somehow tangentially uh, involved. But the most thing, the thing that I'm most proud of is that Ariel is my cousin. His grandfather and my father were first cousins. And to me, Ariel is like um, a little brother. So Ariel, over to you and your fantastic um, professionalism. Thank you, dear Primo. Uh, very, very moving, uh, I must say. I should come every time uh, that you speak about me. Uh, thank you so much. I'm very honored uh, to be here, uh, both because uh, uh, my uh, cousin Isaac uh, uh, has uh, introduced me to this beautiful uh, Kabbalah Shabbat tradition that you have, and uh, to be part of, of this, of all these uh, amazing people in, in this community. So thank you also, Ariela, for the invitation. So since uh, we are on a brief time, I will, um, I'll, I'll go straight uh, to, the, to the things. Um, what I uh, today uh, specialize in um, Sephardi music, it wasn't the thing I started with. I started with as a teenager playing guitar in the 90s in Israel that had one TV station and uh, one mainstream uh, radio station that didn't play this music, only Israeli pop and rock. But the more I got into my music career, I felt I'm in it not just for my self-expression, but to actually, because I have to tell a bigger story, continue a bigger tradition than myself, and a tradition that was introduced to me by my uh, late uh, grandfather, Avram Beniso, who was the Chazan, a cantor at the Snoga Flamenca, the, the Flemish synagogue, Keilat Kodesh Nefutzot Yehuda in Gibraltar. Um, and one of my early works was actually to uh, arrange some of his beautiful liturgical melodies into the guitar. For example, I really like the Igdal Elokim Chai of the Spanish Portuguese. Igdal Elokim Okay, so I sort of started playing it like this. up playing this arrangement at U Lisboa, the University of Lisbon, uh, in a conference dealing with the Anosim, the Conversos uh, Jews. Um, later, I um, started to research the history of the Sephardic Jews and the Sephardic diaspora and got into the repertoire of uh, Ladino, uh, which, uh, as we started in the sort of pre-small talk before, um, it's a, actually a, a, an endangered uh, language uh, which has many dialects of uh, the Sephardic Jews that come from uh, Greece and Turkey and uh, some parts of Italy uh, and also in North Morocco and Gibraltar where it's more the, called the Haketia, which is a different dialect. And, and the music of this uh, language uh, is so beautiful that I felt I need to preserve it and take it to the next uh, level. Um, I can sort of like songs like La Serena, which is very beautiful, which actually come from Greece, from Saloniki, and had a very big Jewish community before of the Holocaust. Thank you. 
it goes on and on. Basically, the um, people, the Jewish community of Saloniki were sailors and they would do the Kabbalah Shabbat like we do here uh, in the port. And they would sing these songs. Um, I went on to um, establish the Israeli Ladino Orchestra, which is part of the Renanot uh, uh, organization of Jewish music that uh, Isaac is also uh, part of it. And in that orchestra, uh, I brought together world-class musician together with uh, the young talent of Israel, young people uh, that finish the music academy. Some were my own students and have the same passion of continuing these traditions. And uh, actually that's how we built a future uh, for that. Uh, I don't know if I can, uh, maybe I'll share screen. I'll show you a little thing. Um, this is a, let's see that it works. <laughs> Um, yeah, share, I hope it's share with the sound. This is, for example, a Passover Ladino song that was never composed, that I composed for the orchestra, and we recorded it with actually an Ashkenazi Chazan, but he's from Buenos Aires, so we could sing in uh, Ladino, and it's called En Cada Generacio, which means Bechol Dov Adov, in every generation. Cada generación y generación es obligado el hombre para mostrar a sí mismo como si él saliera de Egipto. Since we are in a very brief uh, time uh, slot, then you can hear the rest on my uh, YouTube uh, channel, Ariel Lazarus, many of uh, these uh, arrangements. Maybe we'll end with something with, with hope. One of the things I did in the, one of the projects I was involved in recent years was a project about uh, Shlomo Ibn Gabirol, uh, the big uh, poet of uh, the, uh, the mid ages, of the, uh, the golden age of Sephardi, jury in Spain. I actually went to Valencia uh, in this uh, a few months ago to give a talk about the contribution of Ibn Gabirol to modern Hebrew and uh, to the world um, um, uh, heritage of, of poetry. And there's a beautiful uh, song of Ibn Gabirol called Shalom Lechadodi, which always we sing it when we think about uh, a time of uh, geula and peace that Bezrat Hashem will come soon. So I think I will end with that, my portion. So it, it goes like this. Uh, Shalom Lecha Dodi. Yeah.
Thank you so much, Ariel. I, I hope you did see there are there there's a lot of clapping going on, uh, muted clapping just because of the sound. But we do appreciate uh, your speaking Thank with you. us and sharing about your really interesting work that you're doing. And we hope you'll join us again soon. Um, but we do get to hear your shalom aleichem before you go, so we're excited for that. And now uh, I will turn it over to Rabbi Sammy Rubin, who's going to share some words on this week's parsha with us. Shabbat shalom, everyone. <clears throat> Such a pleasure to see all of you. Um, and thank you, Ariel. I loved it. Um, very inspiring way of coming into Shabbat. I'm actually speaking right now from the foot of the Carmel Mountains near Haifa. And I'm just over, just looking at the scenery here. It's a beautiful day here near Haifa at the edge of the Carmel Forest. And it's a pleasure to talk to you today about this week's parsha, Parshat Pinchas. And there's an extraordinary question that the rabbis asked 2,000 years ago, which relates to this week's parasha. They ask, is there one pasuk, is there one principle that encompasses the whole Torah? They ask the rabbis, if you had to pick one pasuk, one verse that encapsulates the principles of the Torah, what is it? And there's a midrash, it, the, it's introduced in the sefer, of the, it's called the Ein Yaakov, which brings several opinions, and I'm going to share three of the opinions. Ben Zoma says that the most important pasuk in the Torah is Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Achat. That there is one God, that we are part of that one God, that we can have a connection to Hashem, all of us, through our neshama, through our souls, that we can connect to Hashem, Shema Yisrael. Ben Nanas disagrees, and he says, no, 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 no. If I had to pick one pasuk that encapsulates the whole Torah, it's v'ahavta l'recha kamocha. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Ultimately, this is what it's about. It's our, it's our relationships. It's about the opportunity to support one another, to give chesed, to give warm, loving kindness to one another. And then Shimon ben Pazi, stands up in the Bet Midrash and he says, no, I want to bring a pasuk from this week's parasha, from the parasha of Pinchas that talks about the karabanot, it talks about the sacrifices, the offerings that we bring. And there's a pasuk in there that says, keves echad boker, that you should bring a lamb in the morning, keves ben harabaim, and you should bring a lamb as an offering in the afternoon. It sounds like this strange pasuk, that this is the pasuk, this is the verse that encapsulates the whole Torah. And then Rav Ploni says in the Medrash, he stands up and he says, the halacha is like Shimon ben Pazi, that this is the verse that encapsulates the whole Torah. It's very puzzling. You can imagine Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, the most famous prayer going back thousands of years so the Jewish people say morning and evening, it's the very last prayer that leaves our lips as we pass on to the next world. Or potentially, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. We know how many of the mitzvot are to do with loving kindness, of bringing together people, of sharing our love and connection with one another. But why is this pasuk of bringing the korban, bringing the offering in the morning, bringing the offering in the afternoon. And the explanation I'd like to suggest is linking really now to what popular science is telling us 
and what a lot of psychologists are talking about, where they talk about how do we really transform ourselves as people? They talk about it's how about it's, a, it's our routine. It's how we create daily habits in our daily life. It's one thing to have an inspiration, an idea, a vision, a moment of elation or uplifting. But the real challenge is if we can turn that into daily habits, micro habits, because we know that if we can create a routine, that really impacts our life on a long basis, not just a moment of inspiration, but we can create real change, real transformation, if we can make those habits part of our daily lives. And that is what Shimon Ban Pazi was teaching us. He was teaching us that it's not just about a moment of inspiration, but it's about embedding the chesed, embedding love and kindness into our lives on a daily basis. It's about embedding a saying shema, about saying a prayer, but creating routines, creating habits in the morning, in the afternoon, on a daily basis. And ultimately, by making this part of our life, this is about how we change one another, how we inspire one another, and how we create this Jewish strong people together. And therefore, I want to wish everybody a wonderful Shabbat from Israel. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much, Rabbi Ruben. It's uh, it's very inspiring going into Shabbat thinking that we have the ability um, to turn that into uh, part of our daily routine. And so uh, we thank you very much for joining us today. It's always a treat when you when we have you uh, sharing some Divrei Torah with us. And now I'm going to turn to Alex, who's going to read from this week's Parsha. If Rabbi Ruben, if you have the technical possibility to show us the view on the Carmel, it would be amazing. I don't know if you can do that. To show us the what? Sorry, the... the view, the view of the Carmel. Oh, yeah. If you can do that, it uh, would be amazing. We would love to see the okay. view, and not a screenshot okay. like mine. Amazing. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Looks great. It's like having a glass of wine now. <laughs> But I don't know, with Ariel here on the call, maybe we should have uh, Uzo or, or Arak. Let me read a famous story about the daughters of Slofrat. I mean, there's a lot of questions about inheritance, the law of inheritance for girls. Vatikra Avna Bnot Slofrat, Ben Hefer Ben Gilad, Ben Machir Ben Menashe, Lishbachot Menashe, Ben Yosef, Eleshimot Bnotaf, Machalano Av, Hagla, Milka, Betirza, Vatamona, Lifne Moshe, Lifne Elazako, Lifne Anisim, Vholaida, Petah, Oil Moed Lemor, Avi. Met Bamid Bar, the Hulo Ayab to Haida, Anoadi, Maladunai Badat, Korak Tibot Hetomet, Ubanim Lo Ayulo, Lama Igara Shem Avinumitok Mishpato, Ki, Ein Loben, Tuna Lano Akhuza, but Tokahe Avinu, by Akhev Moshet, Mishpatan Lifne Adonai. ויאמר אדוני אל משה לאמור, כן, בנות צלופך, דוברות, נתון תיתן להם אחוזת נחלה בתוך אחי אביהם, ועברת את נחלת אביהם להם, ואל בני ישראל תדבר לאמור, איש כי ימות, ובין אין לו, ועברתם את נחלתו לביתו, ואם אין לו בת, ונתתם את נחלתו לאחיו, אין לו אחים, ונתתם את נחלתו לאחי אביו, ואם אין אחים לאביו, ונתתם את נחלתו, נשארו הקרוב אליו, ממשפחתו וירש אותו, והייתה לבני ישראל חוקת משפט, כאשר ציווה אדוני את משה. of Masonite family, son of Hefer, son of Gilead, son of Macher, son of Manasha, son of Yosef came forward. The names of the daughters were Mala, Noah, 
Hogla, Milcha, and Tirzah. They stood before Moses, Eliezer the priests, the chieftains, and the whole assembly at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and they said, A father died in the wilderness. He was not one of the faction, Korah's faction, which banded together against Adonai, but died for his own sin, and he has left no sons. Let not us father's name be lost to his clan just because he had no son. Give us a holding among his father's kinsmen. Moses brought their case before Adonai, and Adonai said to Moses, The plea of Zelophchad's daughter is just. You should give them a hereditary holding among their father's kinsmen, transfer their father's share to them. Further, speak to the Israelite people as follows. If a householder dies without leaving a son, you shall transfer his property to his daughter. If he has no daughter, you shall assign his property to his brothers. If he has no brothers, you shall assign his property to his father's brothers. If his father had no brothers, you shall assign his property to his nearest relative in his own clan who shall inherit it. This shall be the law of procedure for the Israelites in accordance with Adonai's command to Moses. Thank you so much, Eric. And I will head back to Alex, who's going to lead us in the Chief Rabbi of the UK's prayer. Avino, Avino, Sheba Shamayim, so Israel the Goalo. Avino, Avino, Sheba Shamayim, so Israel the Goalo. באנו לפניך בתפילה ובתחנונים, תמאים ושבורי לב על המכות האכזריות אשר הופתה ארצנו הקדושה ועמך ישראל ביום אשר הפכה חגינו לאבל. אנו מתאבלים על אובדון מאות אנשים, נשים וטף אשר נחצחו בזדון ומתפללים על נפשותם. אבינו מלכנו, שלח רפואה שלמה לאלפי פצועי עמך. אבינו מלכנו, רחים על אחינו השבויים, והוציאם מאפלה וצל מוות לגאולה, מוסרותיהם תפתח וממצוקותיהם אצילם, והשיבם מהרה לחיק משפחותיהם. אבינו מלכנו הגן על משפחות ישראל מאימת מוות וחזק חיילי צבא הגנה לישראל אשר שמים נפשם וחפם בהצביעם לקראת אויבינו. אבינו מלכנו אשר בידך לב מלכים ושרים תקן בעצה טובה מלפניך את שרי ישראל לנצ... לנצח במלחמתם כדי שיהיו תושביה שאננים מעין מחריד. אבינו מלכנו פרוס סוכת שלומך על יושבי ארצך ככתוב ונתתי שלום בארץ ושכבתם ואין מחריד והשבעתי חי הרעה מן הארץ וחרב לא תעבור בארצכם בכינו אבינו בביטחון ושלווה ושים שלום אמיתי וקיים על מדינת ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ארצך. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו ואמרו אמן. Eric, uh, for the prayer for the GCC. May he who gives salvation to kings and dominion to princes, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, who delivers his servant David from the evil sword, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, bless and protect, guard and help, exalt, magnify and uplift, his majesty, the king of Saudi Arabia, his majesty, the king of Bahrain, his majesty, the Sultan of Oman, his Highness the President of the UAE, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness the Emir of Qatar, and all their crown princes. And may the Supreme King of Kings in His mercy put a spirit of wisdom and understanding into their hearts and the hearts of all their counselors and officials to deal kindly with us, the House of Jacob, and all the people of His land. Be their shelter and stronghold and let them not falter in their days and, and, and in ours May these lands be blessed with stability, prosperity, and peace. May this be his will, and let us say, Amen. Shabbat Shalom. And if I have five seconds, I'll show you the view here in Crete. That's amazing, but it's not Shabbat the Carmel. Shalom. It's not the Carmel. Okay, thank you very much, Eric. And now before I turn it over to Ariel, who will usher us out, Shalom Aleichem, just a quick reminder to please join us next week 
same time, same Zoom link. Uh, next week, we have Rabbi David Rosen, our dear friend from the AJC, who's joining us, and he's going to speak about a really interesting topic. Uh, so we hope you'll join us. The following week, we actually have the creator of one of Israel's most famous uh, television shows, I believe, um, Ushpizin. He also created um, he also created a film about the destruction of the temple. So right before Tisha B'Av, um, he's going to speak with us about it. Uh, President Herzog, former Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, have all talked about this film. It's actually the first film in history to ever be created based on 1500 oil paintings. Um, and so uh, he's going to join us the, the Friday before Tisha B'Av to speak about that as well. And now, Ariel, over to you for Shalom Aleichem. Come on. Which one? The Ah, the Not everybody else, but let's do it. Ah, you. Come every week. Come every week. I Shabbat will, shalom. And you, and you should join my choir in Jerusalem when you come. I come. I come. <laughs> okay. Shabbat Thank shalom. You all. Shabbat, shalom. Shabbat, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.